it is imitating all the activities of the west it is imitating the culture science and technology of the west it is an imitator it is a copycat what it is going to teach us the west max muller he wrote a book india what it can teach us then what we told is we can teach lot of things but simply the basic thing is that is an unilateral growth or inflammation whatever we call it is a growth is known as inflammation only if your leg grow grows only if your stomach grows without the other parts of the body even growth and if it causes a pain if it causes a dis ease or discomfort in your body <coughs> that is not a growth that is inflammation likewise whatever we see in the form of growth that has implanted untold miseries in the society lot of cleavages disparities among the people war cheap war ugly war smart war clashes international diplomacy third world order lot of other unwanted ugly scenario is being projected in so that is what we said we must be having the quality for the users what is science science has two ends the person who invent science the person who develops science the person who promotes science the persons who are the beneficiaries of science the users unless those people are not qualified qualifying only science and technology is a danger to the world that's what i used to give an example two persons are fighting with each other they were using swords and you are stopping that war which is with swords and giving them biological weapons or ak 47 without changing their mentality they were in a hostile mentality they have sworn to destroy each other so unless the mentality is changed if the person's mentality is changed even though if you give ak 47 they won't misuse it and the mentality remains unchanged even though they don't have weapons they will crush their necks with their own hands they don't have any weapons so india has <laughs> a time immemorial glory of its scriptures which has ethical and moral values in which the western community lacks a lot so we have to teach how to advance in science and technology let anybody teach how to advance in one's own mentality in one's own mind setup in one's own intellectual upgradation it wants spiritual embrace and cosmopolitanism how to embrace everybody and to invoke the reality inside your mind reality inside your mind only craves for peace only craves for harmony only craves for fraternity and mutual understanding and mutual rewarding it also deals with the process of forgiving things forgetting things eh? and also it has a, a great value of sacrifice uh, to destroy one's own self what is the difference between patriot and terrorist a terrorist is a person who wants thousands of people to die for his cause whereas a patriot is a person who want to die for the cause of thousands of people that is the difference that type of a patriotism or altruism or cosmopolitanism that could be shown in the minds of the people without which telecommunication that will only <laughs> cater to the needs of the particular section of the society that will be either giving adverse effect it will be either nullified or it will be nihilated or it will give an adverse effect in the society so india has lot to teach to deal with the hazards of modern science and more over one, th- one more thing i want to say which most of the people they won't believe or accept we are having one bionic field and our bionic field is entirely different from the electronic field we are also having our own static electricity we are also having our own power and charge and the charge of these things with uh, the various other equipments that we are using is entirely dangerous and different and that reduces longevity that induces aging that uh, reduces a person's control emotional control and balancing that reduces also genetic progressing and blossoming so it creates lot of other thing now hong kong university and one holland university they have published two pay, pa- published a uh, two papers mainly on um, that is the ill effects of using mobile phones we used to do lot of pujas by this if you touch here it will increase your medha anganyasa karanyasa in japas we used to say if you touch here medha will be developed if you touch here mind will be developed if you touch in the manipuraka then your gyana will be developing so for getting uh, knowledge for getting realization and liberation there are centers like the same thing in a beneficial and positive approach the holland university paper they have told if you keep mobile here your cerebellar system is affected if you keep in the pocket the cardiac system is affected if you keep it in the pocket of your pant the reproductive and digestive system and kidney urinal and ureal system is affected the nephrol system is very affected like anganyasa karanyasa which benefits the respective places this mobile karanyasa and anganyasa 
eh, that infects the corresponding places. So they, they have invented the same thing. Now they are saying that keep a distance, minimize the usage. So now science, no doubt it has given lot of opportunities for rapid communication, but it is also crystallizing the process of compressing the usage. Don't use it. For some people it is prohibited. For those who are having uh, neural damage or uh, neural malaria or any other cranial infection disease, don't use mobiles. Those who are having kidney malfunctioning, don't use. Those who are having hyperacidity, peptic acidity, etc., ulcerations, etc., don't use that. Are you having a park pacemaker, etc., are you having valve transfusion or implantation or anything else, bypass surgery, don't use that. So it is prohibited for 10% of the society. It is minimized for 50% of the society and for 40% of the society, it is for proper systematic use. After 10 years, they will realize that 10% of the people will be inhibited for use, 90% of the people will be prohibited. So this is the real thing that is happening. Science is unilateral. Science is instant and immediate observation and its output. It cannot see what it will happen after. Vamsantra, Kalantra, Dehantra is the pursuit of Vedas. If you are using something, what will be the impact after 20 years is known as Kalantra. If you use this thing, what will happen to your son, grandson, etc.? That is Vamsantra. Even if you die, what will be the impact of this thing in your concluding birth or conceding birth or consecutive births? This birth is concluding, the interim period is conceding, then there is consecutive births. That is Dehantra. So, what is extra temporal? What generational and what is extra physical that is also included in Shastra. Such a broader purview, that a broader pursuit is handled by our ancestors. But science that deals with instantaneous, immediate and intrinsic affairs without seeing the genetic laws or futuristic laws or its practical implementation as per the socio-economical and political factors of the growing world. And it is not taking into account the imbalanced mental uh, setup of the growing civilizations. It does not under the research into two major things. It has not undertaken two major things. One, the rulers are all nothing but group of jackals. The people ruled, they are all the flock of sheep. Without understanding these two things, inventing any new thing will be a danger to the society. The persons who are ruling, they are exploiting the society for their development, the rulers. The ruled people, they are totally negligent, subservient or ignorant. So, it is a flock of sheep and it is a group of jackals. So, Science must also take into consideration, it must also take into consideration, number one, the type of people in the society, the type of rulers in the society, what will happen few decades, what will happen to few generations after what is the genetic impact. These things must be considered in science. That is known as ontology and teleology. That is not taught in any universities. After post-doctoral studies, now they are studying ontology. Epistemology of physics, ontology of physics, metaphysics of physics, philosophy of physics, Teleology of physics, now they are studying, after 30 or 40 years they are studying that it is just like doing Surya Namaskara after becoming blind. So, from the budding impressionable age itself, ontology, teleology, eh, broad view, distant view, remote view, all of these sensations must be inhibited in the syllabus itself and I want to say about my project, I am having two projects. One is to create a, a computer, there is also a book, what is the name of computer as per modern uh, invention? Modern Talented Occupation Therapist. I told about Occupation Therapy. Occupation Therapist at the University of Lincoln, they have given a name for computer. It is the goal for a fool. It is known as fool's goal. Computer is known as a fool's goal. What are the impacts of computer? It gives radiation, it gives heat, it gives toxins, it gives optical distortion, huh? optical risk is there risk is that you are getting a repetitive strain injury, RSI. It is very common with most of the users of, see, you have never sat in your puja room and meditated for uh, 10 or 20 minutes. You have never uh, folded mala, whether you have folded mala or you have done some japa, you must have operated these fingers. Nothing you have done. Immediately out of awareness for gaining more and desire for going abroad, immediately you are sitting and pressurizing yourself to the atmosphere and doing all of nonsensical activities. Then how your body will, see your mind, it, it infuses. But the body will refuse it. No, 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 you have not practiced sitting like this. I will give you, I am going to reward you with back pain. If you are sitting and that is having an op, very great gazing, eh? optical focusing is known as gazing. You are just optically focusing on the computer like this. You must, not, you must never have done this thing even in your puja room. You are doing like this. 
it is a type of uh, avaricious meditation or economical meditation where you are getting promotion uh, <laughs> overseas, learning, uh, abroad settlement, etc. So you are looking like that. But you have practiced never before. Then the body is saying, no, 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 now your present gift is cervical spondylitis. Like that, <laughs> the occupation therapy, they say that all of the practices of our ancestral tradition, they are capable of making the body positionable. It is known as posture mechanics and position physics. By doing japa, tapa, dhyana, namaskara, pratikshana, everything is direction inside a temple. By operating your fingers, by operating your uh, two, by operating your eyes, by operating your neck, positioning, posturizing, everything is very common and casual in your way of worship and handling your family. Nothing you are doing. Like a lazy bird you are inside and then immediately you are offering all of your services to a computer. So, computer is known as the fool's gold by occupation therapists. So, Bharti Shastra says that that is a bionic field for human beings and it is an electronic field. Any person getting inside will be subjected to loss of his energy, urja or oja. His power of resistance to diseases will be totally eroded. So for that they have to compensate by means of any parahuman activities like meditation, trance, like chanting, worship, pilgrimage, all of these things are mentioned in the Shastras only for gaining such purposes. So these are all the hazards of communicating and contacting with mechanical devices, having life inside. And they are lifeless things, even though they may be having work efficiency more, they are having no life. And the final hazard is very simple. As soon as the calculator is invented, your power to calculate was totally eroded. Nobody can calculate after the fifth table, I think. <laughs> because there is calculator for that. So, the naturally, your adaptability towards a mechanism has eroded innovative and imitative response. You are having innovative response. That innovative response is totally eroded by your imitative response. Innovative and imitative both are eroded by means of your adaptative response. Everything for everything there is computer. So I told in computer lecture, brain and computer I gave a lecture at Symbiosis, I gave three things. One is computer based education. Second is computer computing education. It is not computer computing education. It is computer competing efficiency. How to compete with a computer. How to compete with a computer. Competing with a computer like Shakuntala Devi. So that is second thing. The third thing is computer independent versatility. A versatility to develop the versatile systems of the computer in one's own brain itself. I gave three projects to that area. So whenever you are operating computer, as you know that that processes everything, that stores everything, due to which you are storing, processing, huh? all of these inbuilt commands are totally eroded in you. Then, number two, as you are knowing only to operate the already existing commands of the machine, you know only to operate, not to fructify the already existing skills inside you. You know only operate, how to operate the existing commands of machines. The skills of operation which is there in the computer, which is also inside you, may be in a very, what we call, Latin mode. In consciousness, we used to call it as Latin mode. Also, there are, there are words known as Latin beat. Like that we are having all skills of a computer in the Latin mode and that must be provoked by means of a spiritual or intellectual gymnastic or exercise. So the hazard of using telecommunication systems or any other system is the infusion or the influence or infiltration of the clash of both of the fields, number one. And number two, that creates uneven economy and digital divide all in the tone. So number three, it also makes multiple positions resulting in mental distraction and diseases of the body. Number four, by utilizing mere command and operations of the machine, the real commanding or real skillful operations of your mind that is totally curtailed. After four or five generations, even a capability of resurrection of those skills will be totally abandoned. If you think you can resurrect, you can revive that, your son can revive 80%, your grandson can revive 70%. After six or seven generations, the revival will not be there. Any person with uh, the skill of a computer will be a museum piece and will be a record or track of history. If this person cannot be revived in the society, he will be just an extinct feature and creature of the world. You cannot just resurrect after few generations. <coughs> so considering all of these things, we want to know about two things. God is very much distant from us, even though he is very intimate, to realize him is very difficult. Somebody say, very simple somebody's attitude is there. We can accept two things. You are having mind, you are having consciousness. 
so unless your mind consciousness and your mechanical skills uh, applying with machines unless they are balanced you cannot be a complete man your name is cyborg what is your name that is a science known as evolutionary cybernetics they say that after few generations there will be people who will be operating machines and who will be like operated machines they are known as cyborgs we don't want to see cyborgs in india and we have to teach the best also we prevent the total cyborg system and its possibility in the whole world and india taking the leadership with a maternal care and paternal concern towards the whole global community we have to instill the art of understanding mind art of cultivating consciousness and divinity by which the total invention system of the world must lead to real prosperity and harmony in the society with real fructification narayan 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 Yeah, the